they set out a, an invite from the Wellcome Trust to come to what's called an ideathon, which I'd never heard of before I, I saw this. Um, in, in the sort of computational world, there are these things called hackathons, which is where you get people together in a, in a small room for a small amount of time and work intensively on very specific problems. This was a bit more general, so they, they, they had large topic areas like climate and health, or mental health, or um, infectious diseases, so quite broad topics. We set up a collaboration during the pandemic with the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine where they were modelling how well somebody can react to being infected. So we had that collaboration already set up and when this call came out we thought it would be a good idea to reunite this team to, to tackle this. They sent us a data set of um, people who'd had influenza vaccinations um, and then been subsequently measured for how well they were producing antibodies, so their response to this, this vaccination. We wrote a few bits of computer programming scripts. Mine was to find groups of, of patients who were sort of antibody different, so their, their immune system seemed to fall into three or four different groups. And the London schools people were modelling all the patients and seeing you know, how well they were responding over time. And the, the key thing about our, our, our finding was that we found that the three groups that I'd found through the cytokine data, through the, the, the immune system data, they also seemed to, they seemed to have different outcomes in terms of how, how well they were responding to, to the vaccination. The prize of this was, was not necessarily a, an amount of money you can go and spend what you want on. So we're currently in the, in the stage of, of writing that proposal. One of the lessons that we learned from, from this was it was very hard to extract what the data really meant um, from the, the, sort of the snapshot that we'd be given from it. There's no standards in terms of, of, of how you relate these data sets between each other. So that's, that's the immediate thing that we're going to be working on, is, is, is trying to standardise that so it can be moved out into, into, into economies that don't have quite the same healthcare systems as us, for instance. Because so, infectious diseases isn't just pandemics, it's you know, diseases of, of many different countries and different types. So they're going to be looking at ways that they can they can try and apply their modelling to data and to do that they need to be able to get their data in a nice format.